What's up people, it's your boy Draco back at it with some more Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Uh, we just did a crazy difficult tournament in order to get Aerith into Don Corneo's show thingy. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay. Uh, so I guess we just go out and wait. Madam M said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Ah, uh, kidding. If I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword. But when it comes to damn near anything else, well, can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect her while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Murph. Okay. He gave us some side quests, he did. We got two of them, it seems. Let's go check them out. I've never seen you before. <laughs> Here to work out? Put some muscle on that bony wow, frame of yours? I've been waiting for you to show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Wanna try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him! He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. Okay, so what, we're gonna wrestle? So, you up for a round? Sh sure. Or taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichord left out in the sun. You've got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. Okay, a squat off. I haven't now don't go crying done mom. that since uh, Crisis Core. Anyway. Basic rules. Perform more squats than your opponent in the allotted time to win. In the event of a tie, you will lose. Follow the on-screen guide and press the corresponding buttons at the right moment to perform squats. As you proceed, the guide will gradually fade from view and you will have to watch Cloud's movements to determine whether to press or when to press the appropriate buttons. Remember, you can always pause the game with start. With each successful squat, your pace will increase along with speed, which you will have to respond. However, acting too slowly or too quickly will cause you to stumble. When competing against more skilled opponents, Cloud will grow more fatigued and the chance that he may get caught in a sticking point will increase. When this happens, you must press the corresponding button repeatedly until the gauge is filled. Poorly timed buttons presses build more fatigue than perfect ones. Okay. This is going to be different compared to Crisis Core. Me. Your form's looking good. You've got this. Come on. Not bad at all. I knew you could do it. That's how it's done. Your form's looking good. I knew you could do it. You've got this. Come on. Not bad at all. I knew you could do it. You've got this. Come on. Your form's looking good. That's how it's done. I knew you could do it. You've got this. Come on. Not bad at all. Your form's looking good. That's how it's done. I knew you could do it. You've got this. Come on. Not bad at all. You've got this. Come on. That's how it's done. Your form's looking. I knew you could. That's how it's done. Your form's looking. You've got this. Not bad at all. I knew you. You got this. That's how it's done. Your form's looking. Not bad at all. You got this. That's how it's done. I knew you. You got this. Your form's looking. Not bad at all. That's how it's done. the best. Dang it. I thought I was going to go all the way. Anyway, we won. <laughs> was 
never in doubt. Nice. How the hell did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? Scrawny, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud? We're all one big family here at this gym, and now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Yeah! <laughs> okay. All right. What other quest we got over here? Welcome. Anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, you must be the Merc I've been hearing about. I need you to help me out with my dad. His drunk ass has been at the bar for hours now. Could you bring him back here? He's probably three sheets in over at Drunkard's. <laughs> Just over there. Okay. Wait up, Cloud! Sam caught me up on everything. He said you're gonna go rescue Tifa. And to do that, you're trying to learn all about Walmart. Bro, I know this town like the back of my hand, so I can answer all of your questions. Now, let's go knock this one out. The bar is this way, Cloud. Drunkards, here we come. Uh, are we one. even allowed to walk through the door? Get. I'm getting a regulars only kind of vibe. It's mostly the same folks every night, so. Just in there uninvited. Oh, this old man. I've seen him here. Hey, old dude. Huh? Son, is that you? Did you always look so moronic? <laughs> well, right back at you. Yeah, whatever. We're here to take you back to the store. I'm not going back. Not ever. My life is ruined. It's over. Kill me now. Come on, there's no need to talk like that, old dude. I'll help you out with whatever you need. Really? Oh, thank you, son. See, I made this bet with the Materia Merchant. A sure thing, but then I lost. And so I had no choice but to steal my heart and surrender my precious inspiration. Your precious inspir... who with the what now? Inspiration! <laughs> Without it, there's simply no point in me ever going back to the store. Got it. I mean, I don't got it, but I just need to get your inspiration back, right? Whatever the hell that is. Leave it to me, old dude. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna go with your friend? This is my jam. I don't even really know how people use materia. They're just like huge orbs of... Hey, wait for me! So, this is it, huh? And what do you two want? Uh, uh, I'm here for the precious inspiration you took from the old dude. Inspiration? Oh, that thing. But I didn't take it. I want it fair and square. It's mine by rights now. Well, that's true. But I tell you what, I'll consider giving it back in exchange for a favor. Uh, what you need? Something only real men can deliver. Uh. I need you to go and get me something from the vending machine at the end. You know what, you know. No, I don't think I... Wait, the sauce. The sauce? Stop saying the sauce. What's the sauce? Anyway, I have the perfect room for the both of you. Just say the word and I'll show you to it. Huh? No, no, no. We're not here for that. Hey, what? If you don't need a room... That's it. That's the one. It looks like a regular old vending machine, right? But wait. <laughs> you ready for this? All right. This particular model has secret 
buttons. Where? Well, I can't tell you. It's a secret. You just need to tap into your knowledge and expertise. Like, grab it and whip it out. And then you'll be able to see everything. Use access to find the secret buttons. I don't need to whip it out. I've done this before. Watch this. Whoa, look at you, bro. Huh? Is this the sauce? I don't know. You're a winner! Have a prize! Shit, that scared me. Well, we've done what we said we would. Let's go back and talk to the guy. Come on, bro, hurry up. <laughs> Let's show him what we brought back from our little trip in... Oh, it's you two. It's time, bro. The sauce. Huh? What's this thing? Shit, that's not the sauce. Boys, it seems I misjudged you. Sorry for making you go to all this trouble for nothing. Don't worry. There's still time for you to learn and grow as men. Oh, uh, well... If there's anything else we can do, let us know. Oh, right. Hate to break it to you, but that thing you were looking for? Not here. It's long, long gone. Shitting me? Nope. Sorry. As I recall, the guy who runs the restaurant should have it. Ugh. Well, I guess we know where we're headed next. Come on, bro. Well, that's that. Time to polish the old orbs. Give them a spit shine so they positively sparkle. Hey, if you're done here, then get going already. Restaurant up next, huh? Yeah, I'm kinda hungry, actually. Man, why do we have to do this whole thing with Johnny? He's so annoying. Let's see what's on the menu. Hey, wait for me! Welcome! Feel free to take any open seats. Sorry, we're not here to eat. The Materia guy gave you something, yeah? We want it. Materia guy? Oh, you hear about that? I'm surprised. Didn't take you for the type. Let me ask you something. Either of you know anything about cooking? Nope, never cooked once. That's too bad. For some reason, my food doesn't taste nearly as good as it used to. I was hoping one of you two might be able to help me figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the fridge, the stove, or the power supply. But I'm not sure what's to blame. Man, I seriously have no idea what it could be. This sucks. You know, I think the problem could be faulty wiring. Look around you, this place is falling apart. Hold on, you know a thing or two about electrical wiring? Great, that stuff's serious business. If you're right about this, my beloved restaurant could be a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. Let me take a closer look. On closer inspection, it honestly looks fine to me. I'm not seeing anything that might be problematic. Here, eat up. Man, this looks great. I can't. <clears throat> what a shame. He seemed to be enjoying the meal, so I wanted to ask him what he thought. Maybe next time. Anyway, thanks for your help. Oh, and here's a voucher with my apologies. Get the poor guy some medicine, will you? Drugs. I need all the drugs right now. Out of the way. Out of the goddamn way. I'm telling you, folks. Goodbye. Hey, off my doorstep, you bum. You're scared. much better sitting here watching him. Hey, you. This yours? Well... Oh, that about you you got there? Should have said something sooner. Come on in. What is it with today? People are dropping like flies. Besides this dumbass? Ah, loads of them. 
I got enough outstanding orders to fill a book. I was about to leave and make some deliveries, man. Oh, I'm gonna hurl. Eh, I can't very well leave him alone now, can I? Hey, you're not doing much. Maybe you can deliver that medicine for me. You're what? Military or something, right? Then you must know a thing or two about dealing with the sick and injured. You're a lifesaver, literally. So, let me see. What needs to live? Here, need you to deliver this to someone. You'll probably find this guy sprawled out on the ground somewhere. But make sure you check his symptoms before giving him meds. Okay, so we literally just gotta find a guy on the ground. If I had to guess where a sick person end up, I'd say the toilet. Start by checking those. Maybe ones in the shops nearby. It was poison, I tell you. The sick son of a bitch puts poison in his food. I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. Not much, but it's yours. No. I'm grateful for your help, but do you think a guy could get a little privacy? Should probably head back. Okay. And then there was this crazy looking house, right? And it was all like trying to kill him. But then Cloud was all like, bam, bam, boom. Your friend fought a house. A house? Oh, hey! Welcome back, bro! Better already? Yeah, now he won't shut up. Yeah, anyway, make him sick again. Deliveries go? I did about as much as I could. Thanks for the help. Great work. Anyway, I promise to be worth your while. Here, I got something you're definitely gonna like. What is it? Well, it belonged to the owner of the clothing store first. Heard from the cook that you boys been running all over town looking for this. Am I right? Wait, we have? Hold up. What were we doing before all this? Oh shit! The inspiration! Bingo! You see, all us Walmart and entrepreneurs go way back. We get together for a game every night, bet all kinds of stuff. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession. And now it's yours, because, hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card. Highly coveted and extremely rare. They're only given to a select few. Not having it is gonna do you much good, but... Holy mother of... No way! Bro, we gotta get to the honey... Er, I, I, I mean, drunkards on the double! Tell the old man I said hi! Come on, bro, get a move on! Come on, come on, come on! Yeah, I gotta go! Hey, old dude, we're back. Huh? Who are you? You're no son of mine. I think. Special delivery, just for you. Ho oh, ho! My inspiration! You've returned to me at long last. Yo, is that what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is. And it was hard won. I sew dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after. A honeybee in VIP card! I knew it! Now make way for the VIP, boys. I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer. But first, I should pick up a gift dress. Lead the way, old dude. We are coming. Hey. <sighs> well, thanks for bringing him back. Can't imagine what you went through. Here, you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Get ready for a real Walmart in education. I'm done with this. You, you can do whatever the hell you want. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. 
Uh. It's a pity you're not gonna join us, but I swear to you, bro, as an aspiring wall market connoisseur, I'm gonna go in there and get as much inspiration as I can handle for you, bro. For you. Because, Cloud, you are my one true bro. Honeybee in, here I come! Inspiration, here I come! <sighs> Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. Should probably go see Sam again. So, tell me, what'd you see in our little enclave of sin and debauchery? Bet it was an eye-opening experience. Nothing I haven't seen before. That it for jobs? Not exactly. I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see. Okay. Gotta go back to the Coliseum. That sounds awesome. We've been waiting for you, champ! Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give them a show! Oh boy, please don't be something crazy, freaking annoyingly difficult. Lovers of bloodshed and mayhem, your favorite champion, Cloud, is back in the ring. Right now, this boy may be hot, hot, hot. But look out, folks, because these dynamite challengers may just blow the champ clean off his throne. I hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks. Fighters, begin! going champ you were in fine form today here's your cut you earned it not here for the cash tell me about tifa ah tifa she's something of a bombshell herself huh girl keeps in shape and boy does it show hey just making an observation that's all anyway seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament I could tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well, you helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite either. Getting mixed up in other people's business isn't my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you could ride to a rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. <laughs> At any rate, I've said all I'm going to say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long and she might just blow up in your face. And he is not wrong. Alright, she's finally done changing. No! Cloud! Finally! <sighs> Tifa! She, I, Tifa, she, she's, I don't, 
take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro, I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just want to say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out. So I guess we're not checking on you. So like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said, the way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Beat, beat, whoosh, whoosh. You know, I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice? Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but. uh... I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. Again. Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. really yeah Corneo's got certain tastes this dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in uh, 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 yeah cloud uh, my boy is flabbergasted right now huh. hey wait a minute did Johnny forget to give you my message the one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Okay. This is probably the, the guy who runs the uh the honey bee club or whatever it's called. Are you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. She's not bad at all. What? Say that again. Oh, like <laughs> <laughs> hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? Hmm. I give her a D. Her dress was completely overshadowing her. She's a little like the beautiful flower. Oh, this is it. Why are we here? 
to see the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in the dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Okay, I guess we're doing this. Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. This was wrong. What the fuck? I'm gonna get ya. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's let's. Yeah, we don't need to see that. Kind of concerned what we're gonna see in the other ones. Be funny if she had the whip and was just whipping them. Or. Smacking them or something. Oh, this one opens. Uh, cloud, what are we doing, man? We don't. We shouldn't be here. Hey there, doll face. We've been waiting for you. Come on in. Have a seat. No, I'm not here for. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. I think you might have wandered into the wrong room by mistake. Okay. You guys. Have fun now. Bye bye. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here. Come on now. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Dance practice. Press X, circle, square, and triangle in time to the music using the rhythm line as a guide. Watch closely for when the panel and line are right on top of each other. Remember, you can always pause the game with start. Okay. Oh, that was circle. I messed up. There we go. <laughs> what the heck are we doing, dude? I think we're okay. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. 
My, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you, now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flushing. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval. I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. It's just like, how did I get here? Think you can follow my lead? Oh boy. I want to commentate, but I'm also trying to concentrate. That rhymed. What the heck is going on? No, wrong one. Dang it. Oh, I missed that one. Come on. I was doing so well. Man, Tifa's missing the show. Oh, dang it. Mm. 
Okay, so I did pretty okay. Gross. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin. I don't give a fuck, that's still clearly a dude to me. Notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid. That show today blew my mind. Hey, look at me. I could dance too. How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. It was amazing. You can talk. Was it planned from the start? Probably not. Did you see their look of surprise? He's probably like not loving this at all. Wow, it's loud. Now that was a show. He's like, I'm too embarrassed. Please don't. <laughs> so what are we doing? Waiting for somebody else? No? Not a word. Oh. Not even one? No. But you're so pretty. Oh, man. Got loud all dressed up. Are they not going to be able to tell that it's Cloud? No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madame M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? And she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Oh, that's so gross. It just took me a second, but... <laughs> Uh, 
Huh? What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Ah, uh, there's a trap. Come on. Okay, so they. I thought they knew. Hey, can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes. Bro, you don't you okay? recognize him? Thank you. Moving on. <laughs> oh man. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh right, I'm Aerith, a friend of Clouds. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no. Not until I got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? He picks Cloud. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You, me, Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Come on, you know you're into this. Hmm. Now ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on ladies, let's hustle. Alright guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right! Y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. 
Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? <laughs> oh. Shall I pick you? Yeah, dude's a huge creeper. <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Today's bride to be is... Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you! I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. I had a feeling he was going to pick Cloud. Leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. What does that mean? What the hell is wrong with this guy? Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws. I love it. <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Is this where they kick their asses? So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum. <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Nice. Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Mm. Uh, thank you. He seems cool. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Here. 
assistance if I were you. Take a knife! This one's for you! Here! See you around! <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> Dang. Surprised he's not pissed hey, about that. Who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, you're close! He's gonna be like, what? Dude. <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> so you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right, I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Mm, Barrett. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash him. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do! No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? When they think they've already won. When they think they've already won. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. Dang. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> Are we on the schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <laughs> Breathe. 
progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Tifa? to get back to the slums right now yeah i didn't want to drag Aerith into all this she'll understand how do you two know each other i saved her she saved me round and round it goes and that's all there is to it sure there isn't something else going on um. oh come on Already acting like the jealous girlfriend. Just make it official. What the heck is up with that? We're gonna have to knock those suckers off or something. Here you go. You bet. Bring it on. Get him. Get ready. He's getting mad. Oh my gosh, what? Completely knocked her out, man.
need to raise Aerith. All right. Have fun. Take the lead. I'll show you what I can do. go This one's for you. Go on. Get ready. Yeah. You're still doing okay, right? My turn. And die, you son of a... Nice. What? Oh, great. Are we going to have to fight him again? Probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what, right? Mm. Hmm? Uh, uh, Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. All right, we're going to go ahead and call it for this part. This episode was pretty crazy. Things got kind of wild. So uh, if you made it this far, go ahead and smack the like button. It does help out a ton. And subscribe if you want more of this content. we got plenty of it coming. And leave some comments down below. Let me know how I'm doing, how you're enjoying it. Anyway, I appreciate you watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Awesome.